A column of 50 cars reaches Kyiv's central street. Race participants have spent more than two weeks on the road and have visited over 250 cities across the country. In some cities and small towns, we visited schools or preschool establishments. We smiled at the children. We told them that the Reformation was a reality for Ukraine as well. We gave them balls and balloons. Sometimes we held music festivals in squares and in parks in evenings. We talked about the importance of the Bible in people's lives. The main purpose of the procession is to unite the country in difficult times. In all 250 cities and towns, we prayed for Ukraine. All drivers, participants and young people wanted to prove that if Ukrainians have real value of faith, then the country will change for the better and all reforms will be successful. The procession was welcomed by a huge crowd of people. There were not only Kiev residents, but also out-of-town visitors came to Kiev for the event. You know they say in the Bible, from the ashes will be reborn humans. The same way our Ukraine will be finally reborn. It will be very beautiful. These people gave their time, strength and heart to the auto run all over the country. This is a very grand and significant act held on our land. The 500th anniversary of the Reformation is a remarkable date for Protestants. In October 1517, the Christian minister Martin Luther nailed his now famous 95 Theses to the door of All Saints Church in Wittenberg. In the Theses, Luther criticized the Catholic Church, including practices like indulgences and the excessive rights of the Pope to forgive sins. He controversially asserted that the Holy Scriptures, not the Pope, were the ultimate religious authority. This date is considered to be the beginning of the reformation of Christianity.